at San Diego's most accurate forecast. This is 10 News Pinpoint Weather. And boy, would it be a good day to be in the water. <laughs> Maybe just dump some on your head. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to do that a little later. It's so hot, Rio. This is unusual. And the record-breaking heat will finally start to end tomorrow. But yeah, it's still going to be hot, even though the numbers go down. We might drop one or two records, but overall, it's slowly going to cool off and I'm watching a storm down to the south and when that could give us a couple of showers. But boy, the beach is a place to be as we were just talking about. Great shot Del Mar and look at all uh, on the right side of your screen. You're looking at Dog Beach. You can see our little four legged friends having a good time with the humans and it is the place to be. Well, I'll show you the water temperatures in just moments. Poway, some of the high clouds up over the county and that's from the system that I'm watching and potentially could give us a couple of light raindrops. Not much at all. Blank, uh, Black Mountain looking out towards Rancho Penasquitos and then finally across the bay. Very nice day. It's still 89 in downtown San Diego, about 36% uh, relative humidity. We've been talking about these north northeast winds that were coming through and I talked about that last weekend. Talked about just how hot and it's going to be, especially with those offshore winds coming on. Right now we still have 90s on the map. I mean, these are upper 90s in places like Escondido, Poway, 96 and 97 at 100 in El Cajon at this hour. Across the higher elevations, it's still in the upper 70s. Not so bad though. You go above 4,000 feet. Temperatures have come down a little bit. All right, so on the satellite uh, map, you can see some of the high clouds coming up overhead. It's a system just south of Baja. This storm slowly comes up the coast and that counterclockwise rotation gives us some of the wraparound moisture, giving us those high clouds. It also gives us that word that oh, so many people do not like to hear. Yeah, another humid day tomorrow, and it looks like we have the chance for a couple of light scattered showers on Monday afternoon. I wouldn't bet a whole lot on it. Most of the system goes off the coast and then up and over us, so it doesn't look real promising. The water temperatures, as we were just talking about, mid 70s for you. All right, so tonight, a little better than last night, but still pretty toasty. Upper 60s and some low 70s. Your highs tomorrow? About 97 in Poway, you've got uh, 90 Spring Valley, Point Loma at 81, National City at 88, Chula Vista close to those low 90s, Lemon Grove 91, so Miramar 94. You can notice how the temperatures are coming down just a bit, but it's still pretty hot out there at 92 in Ranch Bernardo, right up to Valley Center 99 in Escondido 97. You head to the coast, we're still in the mid 80s. All right, across the deserts, 94 Borrego Springs. So you can see so how some of our inland locations are actually hotter than the deserts. All right, Julian at 81. Your extended forecast at the coast. We slowly go down by Columbus Day. We're about 80 at the coast. Still humid on Tuesday and Wednesday from the system that's passing to our south. Breezy on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and that's coming in from the north and northwest. That's a cool breeze. So next weekend, not so bad. Big difference from 98 inland tomorrow to an 80 on Saturday with some sunshine. We'll wait for that 80. All right, your extended forecast for the mountains, low 80s and the deserts right in the mid 90s. We slowly stay there and slowly cool off as we get into Thursday, Friday and Saturday. But Rial, it looks like uh, pretty hot tomorrow still. Not as hot as today, but man, I yeah. wish we had better news. I don't like it. I've had enough. I know. I know. I'm done, right? I'm ready for fall. Yeah, it is fall. <laughs> Somebody you know. tell me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Greg.